This is our ball diff from Team Associated. We actually got our new ceramic diff balls, factory team. The kids call it the baller diff. We're going to go in, start off with motor spray. This has a release for the metal. Clean that up. Let those sit for a few. Put them on the edge of our clean workspace. I spray off the diff rings. Flip those over. Spray the other side. Just kind of get them cleaned off. Want everything nice and clean. No debris. Now the other thing I do is Trust me, I've learned when I have diff balls out, usually they're under the pit table everywhere and anywhere. What I do is I wet down a clean area, cut a little bit of the packaging, and then roll them out onto the surface. Okay, we got our ceramic balls on our paper towel. Take and hold the motor spray back, just a little bit of spray. Don't go crazy, I have ran those. Just kind of run them around, get the debris off of them. Let's go ahead and get our small carbides balls out, little ones. This seems to be the hardest part for me, making sure stuff doesn't go flying everywhere. And even still, kind of goes around. Set that out of our space just a little bit. Don't go too crazy. Run those over into a dry area. All the balls are in their own place. Okay, now we're going to take our diff halves and put a bead of the white grease, clear silicone grease, and then put the ring on. Now what this does helps locate the ring. It does already have a locator where it's stamped, just helps hold it in place so it's not spinning. Set that down, do the other side. A little bit will do it. Run that around there. Almost had it standing up. Take our bearings, put that there. Down in there. Jumper. Okay, got that out of the way. And put our gear on top. Now we're going to put the 332nd ceramic balls. And what I do is I take the, the applicator and just hold it right down in there and squeeze a little bit down in the hole. Then the next thing I do is take a little bit of grease, pick up the ball, just set it on there. Another thing where a little will get her done. And I take the two halves, made them together, set that off to the side, set, and then take our thrust screw, put the first washer on, and take some black grease, run that around the screw, and then I take the applicator, pick up one ball, stuff it on there. Kind of a tricky thing, that's why the grease helps hold it in place. And then I take and run another ring around the top. Grab the, the back of it. 
put the other washer on top and then just press the balls in, run the grease around the side and you got that. Next is the spring. Take a pair of pliers, compress it a few times, break it in a little bit, nothing too crazy. And we look inside the diff halves. The deeper of the two will be where the spring goes. Dump that in there. Press that in. And we're going to take our two millimeter wrench, 564th. Close enough. Try and find the hole. There we go. Take another wrench. Press it down in there like that. Put a little bit of tension on it. And then I, I don't run it all the way down, just a little bit of the way. And then it's got pretty good tension on it. And then I just crack it off a little bit. Main thing is you don't want it to be too loose. There's different settings for these. I know uh, at the Reedy race this last weekend, some of the pros run it really tight and some run it loose. So it's all depends on what the track setting is and just ask your top pro what he prefers.